This is the 45th lecture in the FOA lecture series on fiber optics. In this lecture, we're going to talk about fiber to the home, but we're going to talk about a special kind of project, a do-it-yourself project for fiber to the home. Why does everybody want fiber to the home? Bandwidth. We need the bandwidth because more and more people are watching video over the internet especially those who've given up on cable services and gone OTT over the top, downloading streaming video they want to watch in real time. Not only that, but most homes have many devices, so you may have two or three or four people watching video at the same time. We've got people talking about the Internet of Things, where other devices will get connected into the Internet, and quite frankly now, most of the alternatives are insufficient. DSL is in its 23rd iteration and is pretty much peaked out. And cable modem service can get faster, but still can't compare to fiber to the home. You're lucky if you can get fiber to the home. But what does it take? Well, you need to live in a dense urban or suburban area and have a progressive telco or cable TV provider, or perhaps even an electrical utility that decides to do fiber to the home. You could also be living in a densely populated area, urban or suburban, and be served by providers that today are unwilling to make the investments in the future. But companies like Google are interested. Places like Kansas City, Austin, Texas, Atlanta, Nashville, Charlotte, Raleigh, Durham, Louisville. But that still doesn't cover a very large part of the country. You can also have a local utility that knows that fiber to the home attracts businesses. Places like Chattanooga or Clarksville or Jackson, Tennessee that have built their own gigabit fiber to the home systems because they know the value for economic development in the area. But what if you live in an area that will probably never get fiber to the home? Do you live with what you can get locally? Try satellite? Move to a better place? <laughs> That's often not practical. Well, cities, towns, and developers are now starting to take matters into their own hands. Can you really do it yourself? A real fiber of the home system? Well, yes you can. But it takes a lot of commitment. It takes financing. You're going to need anywhere from probably $400 to maybe even $4,000 a person to connect people up. You're going to have to develop a design and find suppliers, find contractors, or develop your own workers. And you know what it's going to take the most of? It's going to take patience because it's going to take a year or more in the planning process to, before you can even start breaking ground on construction. There's a lot of things you're going to need to learn. You're going to have to learn the basics of fiber optics and how fiber to the home works. You're going to have to learn fiber construction techniques. You're going to have to learn how to deal with local governments because you're going to need a lot of permits and a lot of help to be able to lay cables. You're going to have to learn how to raise money. Financing is a big issue. It can cost a lot of money, but it's well worth it. You're going to have to learn how to evaluate suppliers and learn who's giving you the straight dope and who's just trying to sell you something because the suppliers are a big part of your solution and you need to find suppliers that can help you. The other thing which you may never have thought of is you're going to have to develop a customer service plan. You're going to have to get out there and sell your project to customers to sign them up. And then you're going to have to work with them as you do your installation. And then you're going to have to help them in service after they're connected. All of this takes time, costs money, and requires Lots more of that patience. 
How do you learn all this? Well, you talk to those who know how to do it. You talk to those who have done it. You read articles in the trade press and on the internet. You call and interview people who've done it. You attend meetings. There's lots of meetings about this that you can go to and not only learn from the sessions, but meet people who've done it already. You're going to learn how to ask a lot of questions. And along the way, you'll learn what questions to ask. How do you learn what you need to know? Well, you can start off with the resources we have provided at the FOA. You can go to the FOA online guide or FiberU and take courses on basic fiber and fiber to the home. If you're new to fiber, go to one of the FOA schools and take a real hands-on course so you know how to talk fiber. How you, if you know how the process actually works and what everybody's talking about, you'll be able to work deals much better with your suppliers. And if your own people are going to be involved, bring them along for training too. The more people you have trained, the better you'll be able to work in the real fiber optic marketplace. One of the things you're going to need to know is how fiber optic networks are built. And the FOA has a guide just for it. It's our Outside Plant Fiber Optic Civil Works Guide. It's available for downloading online, or you can purchase it as a book from CreateSpace, our publisher. This will tell you what you need to know about how to design and build a fiber optic network. It was created by one of the experts, Joe Botha, in South Africa, who uses it to train construction workers in fiber optics. Don't even get started until you grab a copy of this book and peruse it to see what you need to know. Once you learn enough to know what you're doing, you're ready to start taking matters into your own hands. In the next couple of videos, we're going to tell the stories of two projects like this. People who contacted us and within about a year thereafter were able to put together their plans and start building their own networks. So once you finish this video, look for the next two videos talking about Greg Turton's Southern Fiber Works and Kevin Short and Connected ANSA. We're the Fiber Optic Association, the international nonprofit professional society of fiber optics. Our job is to provide the knowledge and training that people need in order to be able to build fiber optic networks, even if they've never done it before. So watch for the other videos in our YouTube series of Do-It-Yourself Fiber to the Home.